Let's welcome in the management at uh, Datamatics uh, Global. The management is now joining us on the phone line, Mr. Uh, Rahul, Vice Chairman and CEO at Datamatics Global Services. So if you could just tell us about uh, the new subsidiary that has been formed. I think it's a global subsidiary that you have formed. No, we formed a subsidiary in the Philippines. And that is primarily because several customers want a geographically diverse uh, portfolio in terms of they don't want to put all the eggs in one basket. And therefore, India, they don't want to put everything in India. And uh, Philippines is a natural extension uh, for some of these uh, global customers that we have as a delivery center. Right. What does it essentially, uh, I mean, what would it do? It would do the same business and what's the sort of capex that you would put into it? Yeah, it would be a similar business that we're already doing, uh, more customer-driven. Uh, we hope that we would ramp up to about several hundred people within the next uh, 12 months. Uh, the CapEx uh, really is not very high because initially we'll work in an OPEX model uh, until we stabilize, and uh, then we'll look at investing uh, capital. So other than right. things like computers and things like that, which is routine, uh, there'll be no major capital expense. Can you just tell us about the Philippine markets? Is it a fast uh, emerging IT market? Uh, Philippines is a very strong BPO center, and some of our BPO operations uh, will be uh, housed over there. Uh, IT will follow, but uh, the, we will lead with BPO in the Philippines. Right, uh, and what will be the sort of clients? Will it be similar clients, or you would look at local clients from there? No, mostly uh, global MNCs who are our clients. Right. We have not even spoken after Q3 results. Can you just tell us about the Q3 numbers? Yeah. So we, we've had a good growth in the EBITDA uh, last year. At the same time, it was about 8.08%. Uh, this year, we had 11.28%. So there's a 49% in EBITDA growth. And if you see over the last five years, our uh, revenue has grown 24% CAGR, while EBITDA has grown 36.8% uh, CAGR. In just the purely uh, top-line uh, growth, we had only a 7% growth, but uh, the emphasis has been more on the bottom line than the top line. And if you look at the PBT, our PBT has increased about 76%, which will be the same period of last year. Can you talk to us about EBITDA margins, particularly 11.3%? Is that a sustainable number? Uh, it should actually improve. It should actually, oh, because sorry. we are putting a lot of pressure on, on uh, making sure that our operations are more and more efficient, productivity increases, and uh, certain costs are trimmed. Uh, so I think it should improve. Right, and what will be the triggers for this improvement? Already the 300 basis point number includes an improvement, but do you think benefits will only increase? Uh, couple of things happening. Uh, we are moving more work to low-cost destinations, including... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Pondicherry, Nasik, uh, and uh, now the Philippines as well, uh, and the bus. We are increasingly implementing uh, automation and robotics. Uh, one is that we provide robotics to the market in general, but we are also implementing some of it within our own operations, and we are seeing the benefits of that. Uh, so these are all centered around productivity improvement. So uh, it's a combination of both uh, moving to low cost destinations. Impl implementing tools and automation in, in house, as well as trying to negotiate with customers at higher prices. So all of these will contribute to a little better margin. As of now, you've seen a very stable growth in the top line in the last few quarters. Will that nature continue? Yes, we expect that to continue. We've got a good pipeline and we expect that to continue. Right, and uh, can you just tell us about the activity as well? What are clients telling you in terms of IT spends, BPO spends? What is the sense that you get? Will it only increase from your own or, uh, you know, will Datamatics grow because of market share gains? Uh, we are not seeing any slowdown in the customers. Uh, there's no such murmur. So the, the uh, growth rate should continue. We are not seeing customers getting nervous with the whole H1 issue. Uh, fortunately, that has no impact on Datamatics because 98% uh, of our employee base in the U.S. are Americans. Uh, so that does not impact us. Uh, but uh, we don't see any slowing down in the IT spends uh, as far as the industry is concerned. So it depends really on us and our, our uh, selling efforts that help us uh, in our growth strategies. Right. In terms of uh, business, can you just explain us how you differentiate from uh, some of the large cap players, what you do differently, uh, which helps you with such huge growth? Sure. The core of data analytics is uh, data to intelligence. 
And uh, around that, the focus of ours, we have four quadrants where we do smart processes. Uh, that's the business process side where we implement a lot of robotic solutions uh, and intelligent robots. Uh, then we have smart systems. Uh, smart systems uh, are software systems that uh, have artificial intelligence and machine learning built into them. So they are kind of mimicking the human mind. Uh, then we have got smart devices that get into IoT, mobility, where these devices are in interacting with humans uh, very actively. And then, of course, we've got smart data where you get into the analytics and we've got some very interesting tools around there around uh, text analytics unstructured data analytics and things like that now when all of these come together with analytics and with robotics the analytics makes robots smart then you've got smart systems that are machine learning and uh, smart devices all of these coming together is really what is helping our customers in their digital transformation and uh, that's the core of data medics, and we've captured that in the uh, tagline saying data to intelligence. In fact, the word data medics comes from data and automatic. So the core of data medics is how do we leverage data to extract intelligence and then make systems smarter, the customer smarter. Uh, and that's how we kind of differentiate ourselves vis-a-vis -vis the other uh, players in the market. Rahul, thank you so much uh, for explaining us about the Q3 numbers and the recent subsidiary that uh, uh, you have uh, incorporated in Philippines. That was the management at Datamatics.